Alright, welcome back. So this is the last video for section 4.5. So now we're going to kind of put everything together and determine where these functions have a horizontal asymptote. Um, and if they do, state where they are. So they don't always have to. Chances are, since it's this section, they're probably going to have one. Okay, so we need to look at the end behavior of these functions. So that means you got to look at uh, the limit as x goes off to an infinity. of your function, but there's another end. So this would be the right end, now there's a left end, and that's as x approaches negative infinity. So you gotta look at both. And it's, we don't change anything that we just talked about, it's just, it didn't tell you to, to do a limit directly, but when they say well, where's the horizontal asymptote, this is how you're gonna do it. Okay, so the limit as x goes off to positive infinity, uh, the, it's a tie with the degrees. So then it's the leading coefficients, so 7 over 2. And it's going to be a negative, the same thing for the negative infinity. You still get a 7 over 2. So wherever, or whatever you get as an answer for either of these, that's where you have a horizontal asymptote. So if you got if you ended up with two different numbers, then you're going to end up with two different horizontal asymptotes. So like for example, um, g, or sorry, part b with g of x. If you did the limit as x goes off to infinity of g of x, if you square root it, so you can ignore the negative 13, if you square root of the x squared, that's just an x. Well, the deg degrees are now equal to tie. So 9 over 1 would just give you 9. But this one, if you let it go off to negative infinity, You still square root the x squared to give you the, the degree. So it's going to be uh, a tie again, but now you're going off to negative infinity. So the top is a negative and the denominator is a positive. So that gives you a, a negative 9. So you have two horizontal asymptotes because they're different numbers. So one at positive nine, and then you have another one at negative nine. Okay, so let's look at part C. So again, you gotta do the limit as x goes off to positive infinity, and as it goes off to negative. So as x goes off to positive infinity, that's making the numerator super huge and in a positive way. And 2 is always positive. It better be. So positive over positive is a positive. So now let's stick in the negative infinity. So just like we did before, this is what we have. So that's going to flip the e to the denominator. Well, 1 over a really big number is really just 0. So that limit is 3 over 2. So you have a you still have a horizontal asymptote. But you only have the one asymptote right at 3 over 2. If it comes out as infinity, that doesn't yield a whole horizontal asymptote. It just means it's shooting up forever. Uh, and if it's negative infinity, it'll just now shoot down forever. Okay, so this last part. Once in a while, a function will have an oblique asymptote. And this is like a diagonal asymptote. So instead of horizontal or vertical, or horizontal, now 
at something like that. So these occur when the numerator is one degree more than the denominator. So for example, four, determine if it has an oblique uh, for part A, the answer would be no, because the degrees are equal. And over here, uh, on part B, the answer is gonna be yes, because the numerator has a bigger degree and it's only one more degree uh, than the denominator. The denominator is a degree of one, numerator is a degree of two, it's only bigger than more than one. Now if I give you this one, x to the third plus one over x, that would be a big old no. The numerator is still bigger, but it's it's two more than the denominator, so that doesn't that doesn't work. All right, so there you go. That's how we look at these limits at infinity uh, in the next section. Now we're going to stick everything together. So concavity, increasing, decreasing, limits at infinity, and we're going to start sketching curves. So stay tuned, and um, there you go. There's section 4.5.